Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode. Us Victorians are still in lockdown, so it's been a little bit quiet on the vlog front, so apologies for that. Had some terrible weather and just a few, you know, a few bits and pieces getting in the way of making a few videos for you guys. But what I've got in front of me is a, a big package that I've purchased from Adam at fishing.com.au. So a big stock up just in time for spring and summertime. So we're gonna go through it, go through all the contents. I'll talk about what I've purchased and where I'm gonna be using it and why. Apologies for some of the background noise. I am outside today, so I've got some birds, got a bit of road noise down the road. Hopefully that doesn't come through too, uh, too strongly on the camera and the microphone, but hope you enjoyed the episode today. And as always, if you've got any questions, just pop your comments down into the comment section down below or send me a message. So let's get stuck into it. So first up, very simple, very basic, but I've got four packs of OSP Bent Minnow replacement trebles. Now the important thing with OSP Bent Minnows is uh, you know, making sure that they're balanced really well. The reason why I've decided to, and a lot of people do, to purchase the original treble hooks versus something like the ST36 owners is they're a lot lighter in weight and they balance absolutely perfectly to get you the best and uh, best possible action from that OSP bent minnow lure. So that's a critical reason to replace your hooks with the originals. Um, as the ST36 is, as I mentioned, a little bit heavier, so they tend to drag the lure down under the water. It sits a little bit lower and doesn't have that same amazing skipping action as the stock standard bent minnow does. So that's why I've stocked up on those hooks. Next up, we've got a bunch of ST36s for general hard bodies and vibes. So I've got a lot of, I've got four packs of size 12s. So for a lot of your chubbies, your dunks, spikes, you know, all that sort of stuff. The ST36s are an absolute gun for me. I really prefer the ST36s to a lot of other hooks, as well as going up to a size 10. When I'm chasing things such as mull away, I prefer just to go up a size or two in trebles. So I've got some size 10s there. Next up, speaking of vibes, this is predominantly for brim. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about first is we've got the chubby vibe 40. So this is the jackal chubby vibe. This lure was the lure that dad and I caught our record 6.93 kilogram bag of five brim in the Vic Brim Classic earlier in 2020. So it's got an absolutely loud, amazing rattle. Great action underwater as well. This is not the color that, uh, that dad and I caught our bag on. Unfortunately, that color is out of stock. The one that I'm referring to, I'll try and pop a picture in as I'm speaking anyway, but it's the black with the orange belly and the pink eye. But what we've got here is the HL black. So we've got an awesome sort of uh, scale pattern, almost like an abalone finish on the outside. Got some blacks and silver hues coming through and golds. We've got that purple belly and just a red eye. So this is gonna be a fantastic muscle representation. You know, anything like a falling muscle, falling down a jetty, next to a pontoon, um, next to a log, it's gonna be an absolute gun. But the one thing I will say about these is they don't suit every situation. So on super calm days, clear water, I really prefer a more subtle presentation such as a stick minnow. I think these are really for days when there's a lot of current, water's a little bit dirty and you wanna use that rattle to your advantage to call those fish to find that lure. So great lure, but not for every situation. So just be mindful of that. Uh, what are we gonna go to next? Next up, take a little, little refresher. Next up, we've got the Bass Day Sugar Pens. So this is the C95 color, absolute gun all around Australia. You know, I've had days out in Gippsland Chasing estuary perch, chasing brim. A lot a lot of my friends throw this color in particular. I'm throwing bent minnows, I'm throwing other colors in the sugar pen range, but just getting absolutely outfished on this color. So I thought it'd be worthwhile stocking up. I had one left, but definitely need to get a couple more in case I get busted off this spring and summertime. So looking forward to getting back out and chasing some EPs on surface. And the next one that I've got is a lure I haven't used before. Again, surface. So this is a Zip Baits Skinny Pop. So 
So very slender profile as the name suggests and a big cup face. So the idea will be you'll be able to walk this, walk the dog, as well as a bit of a pop, 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 traditional pop, popping style or popper style retrieve. Um, got a great color scheme on that. So we've got a nice fluoro green belly, orange head, uh, orange back rather, bit of a yellow hue there as well. Some similar sim similarities rather <clears throat> to one of the OSP bent minnow colors and uh, something that I've actually previously done through Genio Customs, GK has painted up a couple of old uh, bent minnows before they came a, became a thing. So I know this color is gonna work really well. And again, it's just a bit of a point of difference for me. I like to throw a lot of lures that a lot of other anglers aren't. So I'm looking for that, you know, that 1% or those, that extra 5% every time I get out on the water to throw something different, things that fish haven't seen a lot of. And I think that's where I'm able to pick up those additional fish or that slightly bigger kicker. So that's the kind of mentality that I have when I'm picking lures, you know, for the next season or just in general. So that's all the hard bodies that I've got. The rest is all jig heads and soft plastics. So, just done a bit of a stock up, not too heavy this time around. I already had a lot of hidden weight system heads and I can take you guys through my, you know, my tackle boxes in more detail in future episodes if you want. So leave, leave a comment down below if you do want to see that, go through a lot of the other tackle that I've got and uh, how I generally, you know, get ready for a tournament, pick stuff out, put stuff back. We can talk about that in more detail in another episode, but I've got some various sizes in terms of hook size and weight of the TT hidden weight system heads. So the benefit of the hidden weight head is it allows the weight of the lead to sit within the body of the plastic and it creates a nice natural sinking action instead of it plummeting or uh, falling head first. So it creates a better action underwater on certain scenarios and for certain plastics. But uh, works really well with things such as the uh, Demiki Monster Miki. It's a very delicate creature bait plastic, but is a fantastic matchup to some of the TT uh, hidden weight system heads there. So we've stocked up a little bit there and I'm going to be using these a lot around, you know, pontoons, jetties, lightly weighted out onto the flats as well. So they're a great all rounder, but obviously the, the slight downside is you do have to wait quite a while for that plastic to sink down if you're fishing in relatively deep water or if any currents are around, uh, you'll probably have to move to a more traditional style head with a heavier weight. <laughs> okay, next up. Really quickly, we've got the key tech there, the two inch paddle tails. This is shrimp oil color. So it's a two inch profile, a little bit smaller than our, you know, Z-Man paddle tails, the two and a half inch, <clears throat> or some of the other brands that are out there as well. So I've gone for a couple of packets of these. I believe these, these are also a UV. So I'm gonna try and throw some photos in, whatever I can, I can find or take myself with the UV torch. But I think for, for days when the fishing's a little bit shut down or the fish are onto a slightly smaller bait profile in terms of the, the bait fish that's in the water and we're trying to match the hatch, so to speak, that's where I think the two inch plastic was really gonna shine. And that color is an absolute dynamite, very close to a traditional motor oil color that we're all very, very familiar with and we know works really well. So I'm looking forward to giving these guys a run. Okay, next up. Got a couple of packs of Hurricanes. So I've got two Sprat 75s. So these are a, a um, fork tail plastic. So your traditional sort of minnow style. So we've got the clear with gold fleck. Now just having a notice, open, up, open these up for the first time. So we can see there's a lot more fleck in that particular plastic there, whereas some of these are a lot clearer. So we'll see which one, which of these works better, I suppose. Um, I'm, I'm probably more of a fan of the less glitter per plastic than some of these, but um, that's not too bad overall. I really like the packaging uh, and it ensures that the tails don't get bent and it allows you to put them back into the pack without bending tails as well. So that's a really good nifty little idea from Hurricane Lures. And then I've also got a packet of the gun in the 75 mil fork tail or fish tail style. So that's more of a clear and a UV 
color. Bit of green, bit of clear. And this is the, uh, the bull whip. So that's clear and gold fleck. And the next two, I've got two packs of the Sprat 65s. So these are essentially the paddle tail style plastic that we're all very familiar with. This is the gun color again, so clear and AU. And uh, I've used these before. And what I found, I guess, different um, to some of the other plastics, such as the Z-Mans, the Slim Swim's a bit of a firmer plastic, so it does tend to hold up a little bit more. Um, it has that Laztec material, so it is quite tough, but the Hurricanes do seem to be a bit softer and sometimes, you know, essentially impart a better action through that softer tail. So it, again, it's a point of difference. A lot of, a lot of anglers will be throwing z man so I'm just gonna mix it up from time to time and see what's working on a particular day. Next up, we've got a lot of Dameki Monster Mekis. As you guys know, I absolutely love them. Adam's done a big restock, so big thanks to Adam. He's been keeping me in the loop of when those plastics were coming. So I've got about 30 packs here, maybe even a touch more. I can't remember now off the top of my head, but I've picked up some skin blues, some of the uh, pumpkin seed or cinnamon. Cinnamon, white cinnamon is the actual color name, apologies. I'm just very used to saying pumpkin, pumpkin seed from some of the other manufacturers. And of course, motor oil. So I was running low on motor oils. I didn't have any skin blues left. I had a lot of light cinnamon, but I believe this is a slightly different batch, which does have UV in it. Whereas my previous batch, I've still got about 30 or 40 packs left, has no UV in it. So I'm gonna try and do a side-by-side -side comparison and see what that looks like under the UV light for you guys but I'll also drop in a couple of photos that Adam took for his website and I'll include them in the video so you can see the effect the UV light has. I'm, I'm a big fan of any plastics that have UV sort of built into that, that formula, so to speak. I do think it makes a difference, especially in dirty water. So, you know, I won't go through these in much more detail. Monster Meekies, you guys know that I absolutely love them. Go on, again. A lot of packs there right that should keep me going for a couple of months at least and uh, where I'm gonna be throwing them as I mentioned to you guys at the start you know wanted to talk about where I'm gonna be using these plastics so I, I love the monster Mickey's around structure I think they're an absolutely fantastic little shrimp and crab representation all those little arms and legs just kicking underwater is super irresistible to brim um, lightly weighted these uh, where are we? These little TT hidden weight system heads, an absolute gun. In terms of size uh, for jig head, I prefer a size two, and I prefer anything uh, from a 140th and heavier. So I tend to fish these between a 116th and a 140th, and I find that the size two hook is probably the best mated to a two and a half inch Demiki Monster Mickey. Hope that helps you guys out. And last but not least. So we've got Old Faithful. Here we have three packets of pumpkin two inch grubs. The reason why I actually don't have any two inch pumpkin grubs, but I do like the two inch, again, point of difference, slightly smaller profile from time to time in various systems versus the two and a half. Um, it can make a big difference on certain days. What I'm, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on taking one or two of these packets and bleeding them with some motor oil Z-Mans. And the reason for that is it creates essentially a new color. It, uh, you know, uh, it gives a lot of that green and that UV quality that we're familiar with, with the straight traditional motor oil and bleeds it into the pumpkin seed color and creates a new greeny brown sort of color, which I really enjoy. Uh, you guys might have also seen us, or myself and a few others, uh, you know, name it the mumpkin seed color. So that's pumpkin seed and motor oil. Just a bit of a, a fun name that we've, uh, we've been using for a little while. So if you do hear it, that's what it means. It's bleeding a pumpkin seed and a motor oil plastic together. All it takes is a couple of days for the reaction to start happening. Um, but I'll leave it in there for a couple of weeks and then really just 
they'll be completely finished and then that way you can take them out put them back into these little little plastic slots keep the tails nice and straight going forward and they'll be ready to use in about a week or two's time um, but as we said we are still in lockdown in Victoria so there's absolutely no rush got some of the bigger bigger brothers there or bigger cousins the two and a half inch pumpkin color in uh, in the grubs again so one of those packets I'll do the same thing I'm gonna bleed and the other packet I will leave as is in the pumpkin color so almost there last but not least is the 3.75 inch Z-Man streaks in motor oil color absolute gun lure for snapper for pinkies but also really really good on brim certain systems in Gippsland Lakes this color and this profile works really really well so looking forward to heading back down there and getting stuck into the brim and the snapper in a couple of weeks time hopefully after the lockdowns have been lifted but that's it that's the rundown of the big race stock for spring and summertime 2020 hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you've got any questions pop them in the comment section down below and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the next episode. Cheers.